All right, who is done living in hell? And what I mean by that is scarcity, lack, misunderstandings, misconnections, manifesting things and having them ghosting you, you know, pretty much what we have been working on and through for the last, what feels like 12 years. And really we have come to a really critical time in our ascension process, regardless of where you are on that journey, whether you have become very spiritually aware, you've been working on your emotional intelligence, you are probably finding out right now that the frustration that you're experiencing is not coming from a lack of knowledge or a lack of, of drive. I mean, you're showing up, right? And so when you're working on your manifestation tools and you are, you know, working on your self-concept, it can be very frustrating when you are trying to alchemize your old reality and you are working to transform and realize all of those dreams in your heart. We have to understand something that's very important as this kind of shift has happened. Now that we have a collective that is working towards integrating fourth density or the heart chakra, which is unity consciousness, which is more about community than and then finding the seeking of the me or what is it for me or my survival. It's really working towards more of this collective love, but we've got to anchor in this energy from the bottom three chakras into the heart to do that. And that can be very tricky when you believe that you are a very loving, kind, empathic light worker, and yet you're surrounded by darkness. And you've got to understand that what you attract is not what you want, but what you are. And I know you've heard that a million times, as I have, and you, you, you get frustrated because you're like, I'm not dark, but I'm surrounded by darkness. My family's dark, the collective is dark. And so what the hell, right? What is it that I am doing if I cannot see my own darkness? And so I'm going to give you the easy button here. And the more I work through purification of my own density, the more like, duh, it gets. It's like so freaking simple that it's like, it can't be this easy. But you've got to understand first, alchemy. What is it? Alchemy is all of me. When you are manifesting, you are not just using your thoughts or just your feelings. And you are not just using your actions. You're using a combination of all three of those because there is always a component of three in all creation. And to keep reality going, to keep things moving that are not necessarily alive, in order for you to get life out of something, you're going to have those three elements, as I'm going to explain. So the idea is that I'm going to be doing a webinar on this idea of learning how to alchemize your 3D reality into that fourth density. And why this is important, why you want to do that is because everybody wants to go to the fifth dimension. But you want to understand that if you get to the fifth dimension, it's because you mastered the third dimension. And the third dimension is when we believe that we are separate from, from God, it, it, where we believe in scarcity, where we believe in lack. And, and for you to be in the fifth dimension, it is not like I've earned it because I've studied. It is because you have become it, which means that you are living from a place of non-separation. And living from non-separation means that there is no black in your belief systems. There is no suffering in the negative challenges that you're facing. And so you, you think, how, how can I do that? So I decided that I'm going to give you guys a free webinar that will give you all of these key points, really, really simple, childlike understanding of what it is that you are doing, that we are doing as a collective that is kind of holding us back because our hearts are in the right places. Our intentions are good. You know, we're working on our thoughts. We're working on getting that emotional intelligence. And we've done the study. We've, we've like, we feel like we are 99.9% .9 there. And so what is the missing link? What is the missing piece? And I will tell you, it's, it's kind of a combination of two things. It's 
combination of awareness in what you believe about your own darkness and how you might be actually flowing life force energy to it. And it is also about where your light is in coherence to that dark and how the Trinity is working for you in your own physical body. Because first things first, you know, God gave us dominion right over the earth when as the children of God. But if you are not believing that you are connected to source and that you are this the child of source energy, you were made in the image of that in your fundamental frequency, well, then you will choose with your own free will to be separated from that. And therefore, you will not be able to, you know, act in that dominion, in that authority of your higher power within. So the first thing that we are here to do is master the first kingdom, which is the physical body and the physical body in coherence to the mind and the soul and the spirit, which means that when the mind, soul and spirit are all working in unity in this vehicle, then we can manifest form from our desires. And so when we can create a desire from the heart, then it is going to be a pure manifestation. It is going to be a miracle. It is going to be, you know, it's not going to have any misunderstanding. It's not going to be you settling for something that's coming from a, a need or a desperation. It's going to be coming from that pure creative essence of who you are as creator. And that's really what we want to master by being able to utilize fourth density, because fourth density is imagination. It is the heart centered, unified, neutral consciousness of the creator being able to flow through every other heart field. So when you manifest with the heart field in coherence with the mind, then you are working really entangled with every other heart field in the universe. And when you begin to activate and create coherence with your gut brain, we'll see now you're working with your intuition or your in spirit. And now your spirit is working within the physical body and it is working with all of your thoughts, feelings that is inspiring those actions. So it all kind of works together in harmony. So we're not seeking absolute light. And, and if you're running away from dark, trying to get to the light, then you're not a true trinity of manifestation because all three are required for any sort of creation. You're going to need a negative charge. You're going to need a positive charge and you're going to need a neutral charge. And so if you are judging the negative things that are going on in your life, well, then you don't quite realize that the negative things that are going on in your life are actually super important to create the friction, to create the grounding element of the light. Because in nature, light is it's everywhere and it is not necessarily in a container. It hasn't become form. So you need a negative charge to ground and anchor light down to pull it down. And so that it can go into the void. It can be created around a neutral perspective that then will allow the chemical reaction, the alchemy, the, the all chemical, which is you, creation to happen in that safe void or in that container. So if we're going to break this down as kind of what I'm going to be explaining in this webinar for you to understand is that you are creating the negativity to basically increase the light. And when your light increases, then it triggers the dark. And so if you guys have been having these up, down, up days and then these down days, it means that you're not really understanding what the purpose of the high and the low is for. And you're gonna start working with both of those aspects together. And when you start to ground it and hold space for those two components, with that neutral observer within, with the heart within you, this is when you're now going to be able to manifest from higher dimensions. You're not going to have to try to create law of attraction of bringing something in your circumstances to you because that's just magnetic energy. When you manifest, 
then what you are doing is you are literally creating from the clay of all of the possibilities and you're bringing it down. And so manifest basically means a party with my hands. And if you think of hands and heart, right? That is like art that's using hands. So in this uh, webinar, I am going to show you a few really powerful alchemy magic um, magic spells, basically, that you do with your own focused consciousness, your own body, your own desires, your own darkness, and your own observer. Because when you realize that you do not need the money to get that dream fulfilled, that the lack of money is actually acting as the conduit for the negative charge, okay? So if you think about just the way that nature works is in order for for a child to be born, there's going to be a positive charge, okay? They're going to have that positive, that seed, okay? And that speed, seed is going to basically be implanted, impregnated into the egg, and that is going to be the friction. So imagine that the light is going into darkness and it is like swallowing it. Now look at your current circumstances. Does it feel like you are stuck, that you are trapped, that you are blocked, that you're like you can't move, like you're surrounded in darkness? Then you are in the right place. And maybe the only reason why it is not going through its stages of creation is because instead of a neutral observer, which would be your womb in in making a baby, the womb would be the neutral container. And in your manifestation, you are here to be neutral to the negative, to the positive charge, that when it comes together, you're holding space for it. You're loving both aspects of it. And then that can then go through its conception, its manifestation, and it will literally from, from just an idea of a vision, a dream, an imagination, it will create the substance into the negative charge, and then that will form into matter. And that is going to be the circumstance that you will be living from that trinity, which is fourth density. But in the third dimension, we have a desire and we have the negative the negative circumstance or the negative situation that anchors and creates the fire of desire. But then what we do is we go into the judgment and the lack of the negative. And what happens is that light now becomes more dark. And now what you have is too much storm and not enough life. Or you get afraid of the dark, you run away, you get into real positive, positive reality where you're just focused on the light, focused on the light. Well, now your life with no form. So you cannot be either or and manifest. And so what you're probably doing is creating a bunch of reality where you have a lot of stuff, but no flowing of expansion of life. Like your relationships aren't alive. They're not thriving. You have stuff, but it doesn't fulfill you. It's, it's not really helping you create a bigger world or you've gone to the light side and you are life force energy, your, your vision, your dreams, your ambitions with no form to ground and anchor you. So you've got to figure out what side that you are in judgment of, where you're too heavy, where you're too light, because this is not personal. This is physics. This is quantum physics. This is quantum biology. And the same way that a child is made or a seed is going to be pressurized in the fertilizer until it bursts open. Can you imagine if a sperm was uh, made its way to the egg and the egg drew it in and then the sperm took everything personally that was happening from the inside as it was being ripped apart and reorganized and chemically fused to become something new. What if there was a personality going on that says, this hurts. I don't like this. I'm losing myself. I don't know who I am anymore. You know, not everything is dark. Nothing's happening. I'm in lack. I'm suffering. I'm starving. And imagine if the sperm was having that 
realization inside of that egg while the womb was keeping the container. Maybe that energy would never form because in nature where there is judgment, there is a dam, there is a wall, there is disconnection, which means that if that seed, if that sperm had a self-concept, a personality, then the personality would interrupt the flow of creation every time. Just as how the planet gives birth is the solstice and the equinox. And we look at that as the cross of fire. And if we look at two hands, heart-centered, one is going to go to the brain, one is going to go to the root chakra. This is the meaning of the cross. This is how we manifest our realities. And so I hope you guys join me because I'm going to give you the exact way to, with your two hands, find where you are imbalanced and you are balanced and remember how to be the womb for yourself, be that creative space of neutrality so you can have something that is new to your reality. I will also be giving you some uh, letting go of baggage work that will help you unanchor some of the darkness that is lodged in your bottom three chakras that you may not be aware is holding you back. Because remember, when you manifest, you are manifesting with all of you, not just the, the hopes and the dreams. And so that means that when you manifest with love and light and kindness and joy, but you also have shame and guilt, judgment, anger, loss, humiliation, resentment, all of that is coming in. Just like if you have a child, you have the good and the bad. So your manifestations are going to constantly be bittersweet and they're going to be laced with shame, guilt, loss, fear, and anger. If you do not purify the baggage as the solar plexus works to integrate with the heart field. So please join me as this upcoming webinar. All of the details are going to be in the description here. Uh, it is going to be a registration. You will get a, uh, a Zoom link from the registration and it will be probably um, one to three part event depending on how uh how much I can get the outline in a short and condensed way. But I want to give you every tool that you would need to truly understand that you're not doing this wrong. You're just maybe possibly looking or in judgment on some part of you that is seriously crucial. Because if it is happening to you, it is happening for you. And so when you understand that this negative situation is actually fuel for the fire and required to ground and anchor that light of yours, you're going to look at the dark very differently. Because at this point, suffering is a choice. And I know if you guys are like me, this third dimensional reality has bored you to death. You have settled for less than you've deserved. You have been brainwashed into thinking that you are, that you are less, that you are not worthy. And it's time for us to let all of that go and remember how everything is created in reality. And then once the inanimate objects of reality, how do they stay alive? Well, they need those three parts as well. Just like your car may not be alive, but it has that battery and that battery has those three components. That car has those three components if it's going to get you anywhere, which means the car is going to be the grounding and the, the anchoring and the life force energy, right, is going to be the driver and the fuel, right, is going to be that energy that fuels. Look at your blender. You're going to have a blender with no electricity is trash, now you could look at electricity with no form. It, it doesn't have a face. It doesn't have a persona. It doesn't have a reality. It's just energy. But if you put the two together and you create a neutral container for the two to come together, the core, right? Now you have a working blender. It's alive. But without those three elements, you do not have anything that works in creation, whether it's the birth of creation or the sustainability of creation. So please join me for this upcoming webinar as I invite you for free, total for Needham, and you can come and join me and you will see instantly where it is that you are in your own way by mistake and you can quickly correct this. Stay tuned. 
look for details in this description and as well, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, as I have lots of community and tons of other videos if this resonates. Also, share this invite with people that might be in that same frustration and feel like they are 99% of the way there. Join me. You will. This will be great for you. All right. I will see you all then.